Hello friend, welcome back. <laughs> this is my fifth time trying to do this voiceover. By the time we're done with this video, it's literally going to be like the little video that could. My gosh. We are making another pen pal project today. I have really been trying to stack up the paper crafting videos for this channel. There are a lot of you that have subscribed to my channel um, due to watching my use your scraps video and I'm really grateful that you guys are here. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. There has been so much positive feedback about it. I did that video over a year ago. I never thought that it was going to be like the number one video on this channel. Quite frankly, you never know what's going to resonate with people. I always think it's going to be my bullet journal videos or my art videos. It turns out that it's the paper crafting. Um, it's okay. Fortunately, I love paper crafting and I have have been wanting to dig my way out of this unintentional paper crafting and pen paling hiatus that I've been on. The pandemic really kind of messed me up as far as like my creativity and the first thing that went out the door was pen paling for some reason. Um, that said, we're going to be making a bag flip today. I've made back flips before. I don't think I've ever shared them on my channel and I don't know that I've done them with this small of a bag. This is a mini brown bag that I got at Michael's. Um, I typically do them with like party bags, which are slightly smaller than um, the brown lunch bags, but any paper bag will work. You can even do this with a paper bag with handles and that could be really cute as well. You know how Target in the dollar spot um, for like Valentine's Day or whatever, they have like those tiny mini paper bags. This would be adorable. Um, the first thing that I did was flip up the bottom part. Um, so you wanna flip it up at the bottom part where you can tell that you can see the bottom of the bag, if that makes sense. You wanna flip that part up just glue the sides and that's going to create your pocket. And I'm not sharing measurements because as I said, this is like a mini bag and who's to say which bag you have on hand or which hand you're, which bag you're inter interested. Can I speak today? Um, which bag you're going to end up purchasing for your um, craft there. So measure your bottom portion and measure your top portion and pick coordinating paper and literally the story tells itself it's pretty um, self-explanatory on the screen um, i will say like you don't have to choose uh complementing papers you can do it all with the same paper if you want you can just cover the bottom and maybe embellish the top in a different way really this is all like your creative freedom friend do as you wish but as i am here trying to use these scraps um, I just decided to do um, some coordinating papers that match and it's just a really nice way as usual as I always say to use up all your scraps. So once I've done the main side I'm now here on this other side and I'm just going to create a faux pocket using um, a smaller scrap paper so as you can see we've got our background and then I'm just going to use I think this is like a quarter inch punch to create like a half moon and just like any pocket that you make from paper you're only going to be gluing three sides leaving the top side open because that's what makes your pocket shout out to me realizing that I made the pocket smaller than the background you know it occurred to me that maybe I could add a little piece of paper to the edges and fix it but then I just decided to leave it because you know what imperfections are part of the charm creating pen pal mail or any paper crafting is a labor of love it should be something that you enjoy not something where you obsess about perfection and the tiniest little details um funny enough i say that as i'm here obsessing about the tiniest little details um, but this is just the process that i go through whenever i am decorating a project um, i've mentioned this before i kind of just bring things out and move them around and just see what works. So I left this little bit here just so that you can see how I kind of go about this process of thinking, but then we're going to fast forward to the future now. Okay guys, so this is what we ended up with and let's uh, go through so I can show you how this one turned out. We have our cute little Polaroid in the front. I just added a little bow to the front, kept it really simple. 
Um, I really loved adding these little tabs. I don't know. I love tabs, even though there's really no purpose for this tab. We, I think it would be pretty obvious to find out that this is a pocket, but I don't know. I like a tab, so I add a tab. On the other side, I kept it super simple again. Like, I'm hoping that this would be like relatively flat mail. I'm not trying to bulk this up too much. And this is already adding a little bit of bulk and what you're going to put inside might add a little bit of bulk. So I would keep that in mind whenever you're... Um, adding your last minute embellishments if you're trying to keep it as flat mail that you don't um, continue to add dimension on both sides so I've already got some dimension here with um, this feature and this feature so I want to keep it pretty flat on the back so I've just got this little um, like paper stamp that I made using some scraps and this little paper clip tassel a little bit of a shaker It's got um, two project life cards inside. I love this way of sharing two things at once I'm sharing a project life card or two and I'm sharing a sequin mix So it's really cute and then inside I just put um, a journaling card That is um, something that I used to have in my Etsy shop a long time ago back when it was active And this is an original drawing of mine that I just turned into a journaling card. And then I've got these vinyl stickers that I had in my stash, which will be fun for them to use on their water bottles, laptops, whatever. And then um, three more Project Life cards. Really, you can add anything into these bags. Also, what will go in the bag is my letter. I mean, it's such a cute idea. You can put a chocolate in there. Definitely a tea bag would be great. You know, that might be something that I'll add at the last minute. I love sharing tea with my pen pals. Um, on this one, we love our little dog. On the back side, we have a little shaker for this one as well with two Project Life cards inside. Kept it really simple with the heart. Here's a, a DIY paper clip that I made using um, some beads that I got from Five Below. So that looked really cute and it worked with the color scheme. And then this person will also get some vinyl stickers and they got the sticker version of my illustration so that'll be really fun that one unfortunately is not waterproof but they can use it in their journals or in their um art or happy mail and then also um some more project life cards again you can put in these bags whatever you want um the most important part is that you would have fun creating them i hope that you like this video i had so much fun making these bags i can't wait to um send this uh, to my pen pals and hopefully they will really enjoy it. Let me know if you're gonna make some of these bags using your scraps. How satisfying is this? Like this does not look like a scraps project. Fight me on that. All right guys, <laughs> thanks so much for being here. Like this video, subscribe and leave a comment. I love hearing from you. I will see you next time guys, bye.